to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, August 30th, 2019, and we are very excited to have Patty O in the studio with us today. Take it away. Thank you. Split me from the inside. Have me till I'm whole again. Take me down, spin me around. We're almost at the end. live with patio what's up guys hi how are great. you doing good how are you i'm happy to be here well. good yeah. i'm glad that you're here you guys yeah, traveled from so far and wide to get here truly distances via, via car and train that's yeah. going back i guess yeah an long, airplane long long train ride I mean, to come. Yeah. all of those things yeah. yeah yeah um so you guys got your start you guys are from new york mm-hmm. yeah you guys got your start in 2014 yes how was how like was really it long time ago it does feel like a long time ago. It is almost six years ago, oh, which is wow. bizarre. <laughs> Fun yeah. Um, yeah. That's, yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, what well, you guys got started in New York, and how was it getting started in such like a large scene? Oh, it was great because we had a lot of friends who were really supportive, and mm-hmm. we weren't a real band for a long time, and yet continued to play shows, and people let us play shows and let us make tons of mistakes, and learn and yeah it was it was great new york is a great great place the diy scene is very very supportive yeah when you say you weren't a real band what does that mean <laughs> i couldn't play bass okay <laughs> i couldn't play drums <laughs> okay i had played like two shows LP before had ever. played uh-huh. a guitar so she yeah. was like the the pro <laughs> was, among yeah, us but yeah. <laughs> yeah it was very uh ad hoc very diy experience putting this together so uh-huh. it's very cool to be able to be here and do things like this yeah when do you think you crossed into the threshold of real band are we waiting to still yeah. cross <laughs> <laughs> no. i don't know what do you think <laughs> you guys are a real band 
Yeah. Maybe when we put our record out, I think, I think so. our release show was pretty sick. It was like a yeah. sold out show. We played really well. People knew our songs, yeah. and we were like, okay, this feels like a thing now. I, I mean, they started having fun while playing as opposed to kind of waiting for Dreading it. Time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there are people who will believe that if, you, if like, that you were a band from the first time you played together. Like, even when you didn't think that you were a real band, that you were a real band. That's probably where That's I cool. stand. Yeah. In, in we want to manipulate okay. and lie to the public. So. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, probably not the best political climate to do that in. <laughs> oh, too real. Um, I had a really good, I had a question that I was going to ask. Um, skincare. Let's talk about it. Oh, well, I did a face mask on the way here. Really? In yeah. the car? No, like right before I getting in yeah. the car. But well, Was it like a sheet one? Yeah. How do you, how do you like those? You know, it's not the most comfortable experience because you can't really do a lot or yeah. move. So it's kind of hard getting ready in the morning. Yeah. But, you know, I wanted to glow for the camera. So I feel you. I So I have glasses <laughs> and I put on the sheet mask and I have to like put glasses over the sheet mask <laughs> right. so that it doesn't fall look. off my face. Oh, and yeah. so I can do things at the same time. Right. And so I'm like walking around my apartment, like looking ridiculous. Yeah. So do you think it helps your skin more than a normal, normal mask? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Al Alice is the one who turned me on to a lot of Korean skincare brands. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, I will say my life has gotten exponentially better. So Yeah. Do you have a favorite brand? Of, of sheet mask? Oh my or God. no, of, of like uh, just anything, any skincare related. <laughs> Should we just start plugging things to get? Sheet masks are the same. Yeah. Well, we want, Not all we want created sponsors. Equal. Yeah. So this is, Cause this RX is, time. Is, okay. a, is a favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like um, Misha. <laughs> Wait, yeah, can you I'll, say that again? Misha. Okay. M-I-S-S-H-A. Okay. I'm not a big sheet masker anymore. I just mm -hmm. rub oil on my face and hope for the best. Yeah. Do you use a jojoba oil? I actu we actually oh, all I use didn't. the same brand of marula oil. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we individually brought our own bottle for yeah. I think I might have that. Yeah. It's Do pretty, you get it at Whole Foods? It's nice. We got We all got ours from The Ordinary, another okay. brand. Okay. <laughs> just just please online. send us stuff. We, we can make it. it happen. <laughs> we could just, we could edit this clip out specifically and pitch it to for different picture. brands. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you just give a little wink to the yeah. camera afterwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And it, and it goes ding. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, we'll talk later. Cool. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Stage whisper. I hope I was right. Could have sworn I wasn't always having these nightmares before. Could have sworn I used to have to hide from all of this junk before. Denied, denied, have fewer different problems with my breathing before. Wasn't I, wasn't I trying to say every other word before? The things I see, I saw before, edged with scum, with hot recoil, 
infinite backslide floating away. Ah, listening. So good. You guys rock. Thank you. you. Oh, I remembered the question that I forgot. Oh, yeah. What was it? And it was, um, you, you did an interview with Ad Hoc, and you said uh, that you guys were really good at marketing yourselves at the beginning of your <laughs> career. Yeah, it was all talk. <laughs> no, I was going to ask, like, what, it, what tactics did you use to market yourselves? Insanity, mostly. Cool. Annoyance. Uh-huh. Um, we talked a lot Just about- like prodding. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, we talked a lot about chicken sandwiches. Mm-hmm. And uh, we became known as kind of like a chicken sandwich fan Instagram account. Cool. 
Um, we still love chicken sandwiches. We, yeah, that really segues well into my next question, but you guys incredible. can continue talking about it. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, that's thing. pretty much it. Just yeah, like you got to have a bit that you're, like, really <laughs> actually into. Yeah. So it makes it, like, a really, like, actually fun for yeah. anyone involved. Yeah. yeah. So and I realized was it was working when we played Boston, and the uh, the host had put the Facebook event, at, like, as our genre, chicken sandwich rock. Uh-huh. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this feels right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, if you had to imagine chicken sandwich rock, would it be patio? Question mark. I don't know. For Is the I... sake of this, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would be. Okay. Oh, what, cool. what, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, I'm from the South, so I'm like chicken yeah. sandwich rock is like. Yeah. LP taught us everything brothers? that we know mm. about chicken sandwiches. I had never really had or fried chicken before. Oh, okay. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Probably mostly chicken. Not yeah. <laughs> So what do you look for? So, okay, so now chicken sandwiches. Let's get into it. Okay. It's really important. Mm-hmm. What do you look for in a chicken sandwich? So there's a few different categories of chicken sandwich. Yeah. So oh there's, like, different How camps within the band. We have all the we time have, in the world. We have people who enjoy, like, non-spicy, which being from Nashville, you would think I would be more spicy camp. I'm yeah. actually more of a, a non-spicy Same. person. Same. Um, I don't like a lot of toppings. I don't mm-hmm. like a lot getting in the way. Um, so there's like you, you need a good crunch, especially on a non-spicy. But I am not the spicy authority, so I'll turn it over to the spicy authorities to discuss. I like that spicy, brand. but you know, like spice. But the bun is key. Yeah, okay. a good bun. bun. Also, I love pickles. Mm-hmm. Whenever there are pickles, yeah. that always sways me. If uh-huh. it's like hot versus not, but one has pickles, I'm going for the mm-hmm. pickles. I saw a video on the internet the other day. Have you heard of it? <laughs> and it was just like what it was it? just like someone being like a perfect burger and it was just piling like just like pounds of pickles on it and i was like yeah <laughs> i mean like it's honestly, true guys, it's true you gotta have the pickles um and so right now the internet speaking of is having a hot debate about current fast food sandwiches and i think it's, it's like popeyes versus chick-fil-a yeah, yeah. so I, we actually have not officially like yeah officially tried the Popeye sandwich yet. yeah we did officially eat a Chick-fil-A sandwich yeah just like, as because I had never had it before yeah. we felt really bad about it I don't want um, anyone to eat Chick-fil-A I'll yeah. just say that right now yeah. to the world <laughs> do not sponsor them yeah and if you have to like donate to Bernie Sanders campaign uh-huh. or something like I don't know it's just yeah. like it's a dark it seems like a dark place but it's it's pretty tasty, it's tasty chicken. but like not worth the lines or yeah. you know like just do something it's also better closed on with Sundays. your life like really yeah. Yeah. Um, but so you haven't tried the Popeyes one yet. No, not, but not we're planning to. Okay. There are a few Popeyes in Chicago. Okay. They've been like sold out in New I know. York. So <laughs> yeah. we've we... been sold out here too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. People are really like rallying behind it. It's crazy. I do appreciate that the price point is very sort of like old school old school drive through barbecue sandwich price point, mm-hmm. like three ninety nine roughly. Mm-hmm. It's like that's the right price point for a sandwich. Okay. All right, so they have that going for them. Yeah, people well, in I'm, New York try to charge like fourteen dollars for a pork barbecue sandwich, and I'm just like, I won't. That's I silly. Can't. Yeah, and I shan't. Yeah, and I shall not, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> um, well, we you guys got to come back, uh, or just let me know about the pop. You can just let yes. me know, and I'll let everyone else know. Yeah, we'll we'll follow up. All right, cool. Yeah. We'll thank circle you. back. Thanks. <laughs> we could, uh, circle back. <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for being here. I'm excited to hear your last two songs. Cool. Well, thanks. I killed her with the weight I'd been carrying. A 
has been Audio Tree Live with Patio. Thank you guys so much for being here. That was so good. Thanks for having us. Of course. Uh, their album Essentials is out now on Fire Talk, and they'll be playing tonight at Thalia Hall in Chicago with Dead and Deeper and Fran. And uh, they'll be playing in Washington, D.C. at Comet Ping Pong on October 26th, and also later this week in New York City. So many awesome shows. Yeah. Um, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you to the you. camera and lighting thank crew. You. Thank yeah, you to the people everyone. in the Amazing studio. Amazing job. Yeah. Rick and Neil and Keelan. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye, Goodbye. everyone. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?